This next example for substitution is one where, you know, you could do this a couple different ways, but this one is tailor-made for substitution because it already starts with y equals. We just want to keep it like this. We might as well just use this y equals and put this in for y. So what I'll do is I will take this. This whole thing will go in for y. So I will put this right down here and replace y with these numbers. So it's going to look like this. Negative 7 equals negative 3 and then here is where this goes because it goes in for y. 6x minus 11 minus 2x. So we've got more of the distributive property. Simplified down that would be negative 18x and then negative 3 times basically negative 11 would be plus 33 minus 2x equals negative 7. So we will combine like terms here. Negative 18x, negative 2x, of course that'd be negative 20x. So I'm just going to erase this and replace it with negative 20x. And now, you know, if we're solving for x, we want to keep x by itself on a side, so I'll just get this 33 over on the other side. So I will subtract 33 to get rid of that, and I have to also do the same thing to the other side. So that's going to be negative 40. That would cancel out equals negative 20x. So now I should be able to look at this, and I should just be able to solve for x. Now if I take a look at this, negative 20 times 2 is negative 40. So my x is just going to be 2. Uh, so next, I am going to put 2 in for x in one of these equations. And again, it doesn't matter which one you use. I would use the simplest one, the one that's going to be the quickest. So I will use this one right here. We've got y equals 6x, so 6 times x and x is 2, minus 11. This is, we don't have to do any algebra on this one. We just have to solve it. So we've got 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 11 is 1. So y in this case is 1. You know, if you want to check just to make sure that you are correct, pick something on here and put those numbers in for it. So for instance, I'll take this one right here. I'll go negative 7 equals negative 3 times y. y is 1. So negative 3 times 1 minus uh, 2 times x, which is 2. So if we simplify this down, it's going to be negative 7 equals negative 3 uh, minus 4. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7, so that one checks out. I did have this one on here twice, but I figured uh, I think once is best because it's already set up with the y equals. I could go ahead and change some of these to fractions and divide so I can get x by itself here, but that's just going to be a pain in the neck when this is already set up for you.